this video is gonna be outside the norm. This video might actually in the future be perfect for those that are just getting started with the channel to have some type of understanding of what we do over here. And before we talk about what's going on today in the markets, before we talk about what's going on on the indexes, on the DXY, before we look at Bitcoin and where it might possibly be topping before its pullback, which is coming, that's the first time you've heard me say that. Remember, I've been saying ever since fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, do not look for that pullback yet. We have much higher to go. First, I want to look and talk about something with you all. I'm going to start here. I just was preparing to do this video. This came to my email 35 minutes ago, and the person was just sending thank you. Thank you for sharing your knowledge on YouTube. This channel has been a true blessing. I've been investing for fun for years without much success. If anything, I was constantly losing money. After I started watching your channel and learning your way of trading, I've become insanely profitable. Talks about his background, says, however, the amount of money I've made following your investment strategies since this summer will outpace my normal income. There was a comment yesterday over here. This was, you know, I like your analysis, Jordan. You just sit on the sidelines way too much. You miss out on many returns. You're too passive. You need to take more positions, better being in the game than not. Now, I did reply and respond to that over here, as well as did a lot of other people who have not only been following us for a while, but profiting from us. But I want to take a look to talk about something with you really quick. All right, I want to give everyone, if you're just joining us, a little bit of rundown what's going on. Now, it is true, and it wasn't set out this way. It is true, going into the week of the election, I was on the sidelines. But, however, at that time, right over here, price was trading right down over here, and I warned everyone, do not sell short. I'm not going to take the long, but do not sell short over here. Sure enough, price came up really high, really quick, and I've remained on the sidelines over there. And it's not just over here on the indexes. It's been across the board. It's been through all of FX for the last two and a half weeks. Not because that's what I planned, because that is what the market is giving me. Now, do keep in mind, there have been a couple of trades that have occurred, right? Uh, go back right before the election, as we were watching this descending wedge, this descending wedge up here, right? I got everyone into this trade over here. This was a pretty big trade. When I say it's a pretty big trade, right? We looked at taking about a 4.2% profit. Now, what's the average yearly return on the S&P 500? And that was nothing. That was just a little bit, that was just a little trade. However, the other trade and the only other trade that I've taken, right? Going back towards the middle of October until now has been this one over here. When I told everyone, hey, listen, Bitcoin's getting ready to put on a move over here. It's getting ready to break out. After it broke out over here, I set up the swing trade. Go back over here. It's somewhere around October 13th, 14th, 15th in that area. Watch the live stream videos as I point not only the trade out, where to put the stop loss, why. And I said over here into this resistance, this was 14% to take off 40% of your trade and hold the other 60% of the trade. That trade right now is currently over 50% into profit. And that's going to keep running until we hit my price target, right? Whenever I exit the Bitcoin, that's more money, by the way, if you put that trade on and you follow it to fruition, then probably you will make in your entire career on your own. That all being said, this year has been quite extraordinary. When I say extraordinary, this has been my most profitable year, 20 years of trading ever since the 2008 crisis. Why? Because we had another crisis. I had been avoiding the S&P 500 for, for over a decade. And then in February on this channel, all the videos are on this channel. I started attacking aggressively the S&P to the short side. And that went on through the end of March. Started picking my longs over here and then exit. The money that I made over here, by the way, by the end of March, well exceeded my normal goals, my normal yearly goals by a factor of three. And since then, there have been lots it's been a great year. That all being said, keep in mind, keep in mind, not only myself, follow those users on the channel, follow what's going on over here. In the last in the last 24 hours, two people have commented that they're up over $100,000 on their Bitcoin trade, which they have gotten involved in through the work that I've put out and the research. I myself personally, over 50% of my net worth, Bitcoin under 9,000, I was long Bitcoin. That's including my own real estate. It's a heavy position. It's now up over 
100% and we haven't even got started. Please do not tell me that I, that I am passive. You'll never find a more aggressive trader than myself. However, I am also the most risk adverse. I'm not here to gamble. I'm here to make money. I have a wife, five children, one on the way. That's a lot of school. That's a lot of medical uh, care. That's a lot of education. I've been at this for 20 years, rest assured. Not only do I know what I am doing, I do not believe there's a better resource on the internet for helping people trade the markets with a proven strategy that is effective and works. The, what is taught here, what is shared here for free on this YouTube channel is absolutely a gem. And for whatever reason that you've stumbled across it, do if you haven't already subscribed, take notice, learn with us. I do offer a trading course. It costs next to nothing. The information that is shared there. I had someone write me a few weeks ago. They spent 15,000 Australian dollars on a trading course. They stopped it. They won't finish it. They're just now following mine. All right. I felt like I needed to get that out of the way. And again, this could be referred to for people who are looking, who are just starting with us and don't know my track record, don't know my history, and that history is online. All the videos are uploaded daily. Here we go. And the thing about it is, is here's, here's pay attention. I'm providing you unbiased, clear analysis. Do not be waiting for myself or any other YouTuber or any other person to tell you when to take a trade or make an investment. For sure, there's no way you will find success. However, do follow my analysis. It provides extreme clarity that you can use to help with your own analysis, make your trade decisions. When I point out to you that we are above this trend line over here, right? And then over here, do you remember over here? By the way, by the way, this Monday morning over here, I'm sorry, I don't know if it was Monday, this morning over here, uh, as we gapped up on the, not gapped up, as we shot up on the vaccine news, I said the markets overreacted. The markets were up four and a half percent right over here. I said the markets have overreacted. People, what are you talking about? Sure enough. Over the next eight hours, we traded back in for the retest. This was an entry anyone could take. Everyone knows it here and here. I decided I don't need to take it. I don't want to take it. And I don't need to take it. I'm in the middle of riding some really good positions. It's not necessary for me. I've had an epic year. If I don't take another trade going into the end of the year, that's all well and good. Now, with that in mind, let's take a look at what's going on across the markets over here. I'm going to start with the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ was still currently below this trend line over here. I'm watching this trend line over here. And if the NASDAQ is able to go ahead and break out above there, then I have all of the indexes, the S&P 500 trading bullish. I have the Dow trading bullish right off all-time highs. I have the Russell also right here, right off all-time highs, trading bullish, the NASDAQ will have broken out of this consolidation pattern that it had a breakout and then failed, right? And if this breaks out, and by the way, a lot of people right now might be seeing that, hey, tech might be lagging right now. If you get a breakout, a signal over here, taking out that higher high after that down price bar onto resistance, that's an entry to consider and a good one, in my opinion. Now, what about the DXY? You can see over here, this is very important. I've been watching that support over there at 92.50 for a while, right? We're trading back below it now. This is opening up a retest that has already occurred. A resumption down could be targeting the yearly low on the dollar, right? This is opening up. We're seeing the pound US dollar. We're seeing the Australian dollar US dollar on the verge of breaking out. Pound US dollar has broken out and the New Zealand dollar US dollar has broken out. The Euro could be next if we get a successful resumption off over here. We could be challenging, taking a look at the yearly lows and possibly lower. By the way, keep in your mind that the date, the date of December 14th, we still have some wild cards that could be thrown at the market. Never, never get comfortable. Before I get into Bitcoin today, and I do want to get into Bitcoin today, let me take a quick look at gold over here. You could see gold still having trouble with this resistance, right? I have the line marked at 1914, still the gold line. Above there, it's time to start positioning in long. There's no position to be had right now, and it's been that way. Aside from trying to take a long over here, kept everyone out of gold, why it's been sideways for a long time. That alone in itself 
is a huge value. Silver looking a little better than gold, actually. Technically, you can see silver has broken out above this trend line over here, came into the 26 resistance, in for the retest, and is and continues to resume out. Nevertheless, I think that precious metals are coiled up. I think they're getting ready to spring. I think that we're going to have the FOMC's meeting in December talking about them extending the, the maturity date of their current QE. I think gold and silver are going to react to that. If they get above 26, I might become interested right now. Not so much. Bitcoin over here is up almost 6% on the day. It continues to fly. I have to say, and I have been saying, right, this for the last, you know, I don't know if it was, I don't know exactly where it was at, somewhere around 14,000, 15,000. I kept saying this move, do not look for the 30% pullback. It's on Twitter. You could find the, tw the timestamp. I kept saying, do not look for that 30% pullback. It's the wrong time. We're getting close right now to the right time over here. And I have actually, do not follow me. I have, and when I say do not follow me, know what you're doing. I have two very small orders in sell orders, right around 19,932. Actually, right around that resistance right over here, I have them in, right? Now, it's a very, very small exit, taking a little bit of profit of my tradable Bitcoin position. It's very small. Nevertheless, I am looking for and I am expecting a pullback from 18,000 between 18,000 and 21,000, but right over here exactly is where I'm looking for it. Will I be exact? I don't need to be exact, right? But this is where I've been looking and waiting for the pullback. We're almost to 18,000. We are really just a couple of hundred. We were $100 off, $117 off 18,000. If you go to the Bitcoin playlist, you'll see my Bitcoin put out on July 6th. Bitcoin was trading at what, $9,600? I said by December 2020, Bitcoin will be trading at $18,000. Here we are. Pay attention to those who get it right, not to those who have some theories about whatever and whatever. If you look at where we are right now on the cycle, I want to pull back over here and I want to show you right over here is exactly where we are today. Right over here, this is right over here, the last all-time high cycle high on Bitcoin. We are about right over here. We are coming in close to testing that all-time high. In the last cycle, when we did, we did pull back 30% to test that last, that last swing high breakout. Pay attention to what I'm saying because I'm going to fast forward to the future in a minute. Look at the amount of time it took us to get from that breakout of the last swing high to, the all, to test the all-time high before the pullback. Notice also, let me clear this chart up for you one second. Notice also that last big candle. This one over here was a 10% candle. You can see over here, let me go ahead and pull it up for you. That candle was a 10% candle, right? It is exactly. A 10% candle taking us before we into that, testing the all-time high before we had that pullback. Look at the similarities over here. Let me show you what's going on right now in real time. This over here, I was just showing you that last swing high. That is over here. That Let me get that correct. That's at 13,848. I call it the Heath line over here. This was the last swing high. Look at the amount of time since we've traded above it. It is so similar, almost with the same angle. We today have a 6% candle. It's not a 10% candle. A 10% candle will get us close to where I have my take profit. Do I think that you should exit today? I'm not exiting today. I'm not, try I'm not trying to pick perfect price over here, but I think that I'm trying to stick with where I have my take profit over here. I think that price could go higher. By the way, for the record, Max Kaiser, it doesn't add up with my own analysis. He says once we break the all-time high that we're going past 30,000. Okay, it could happen. It could happen. That's not, that's not what my research has shown happens at all time highs. That's not my experience. I am looking now for the 30% pullback. It could happen at any point now. I still have not taken any off. By the way, on the Bitcoin playlist on this channel, the top most recent video is three ways to trade Bitcoin during the bull market phase. Do watch and understand that. You need to have a strategy, a plan in place ahead of time. Everyone, Thank you for the support. Thank you for sharing this time every day together. Every morning, I look forward to spending that time with you. You all are absolutely amazing. The insight that I get for, gain from all of you, the camaraderie, the community, it's invaluable. I appreciate it. I'm grateful for it. Thank you.
Let me catch up on a couple of comments over here. What are your thoughts on multi-level marketing? Uh, I don't have any thoughts on that. So I, I do have a couple of thoughts. Uh, you know, I, I, my own, I don't know anything about multi-level marketing or iMarkets live teaching Forex. But what I do know is that there are many, many courses that cost thousands of dollars. They don't even offer a working plan or strategy. I do know that you cannot put a price on the value of the education and the material that I provide and in my course. And I do know that it costs next to nothing. The, the, the investment that, that one is making to work with me, the community, and to have a working strategy that is, first of all, the markets are incredibly difficult. If you could take anyone, right? If you could take 10 traders and are able within three to five weeks to, to just provide them you know, a set of uh, instructions where you could get four of those traders, you know, on their way to break even a better and towards consistently profitable. Come on, man, that's insa it's insanity. It's insanity. That's what I believe. I, I don't, I don't believe it actually, I don't know of, or, or I don't, that's my only thoughts. It's, that's like probably the biggest no brainer there is. And, and say more, the value, you cannot put, a, you cannot put a price on the value. That's for sure. Thank you for that though. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I mean, for real. You, for, so listen, there's a, there's a bunch of people. So there's a bunch of people, right, who just listening to the YouTube videos since the crisis went on to, you know, turn around, turn around their, their investments. A lot of them signed up the, cor the course just to say thank you. And then they learned something in the process. But the course itself, right, the course itself the YouTube values themselves, right? They provide the knowledge for sure. The course gives you that that super jump start, head start, you know, with a lot more clarity. But you don't need that. Anyone who's here right now, man, obviously you're here for one thing because it benefits you. It benefits your overall knowledge and it benefits your trading. And I'm grateful that you're here. That's all. And by the way, this was beautiful to read. This was someone asked just in yesterday's video, that Ken asked whether or not he wanted some feedback from those who have paid for the one-year mentor course, right? And he's saying that he's interested in it. He's interested, he would like to know, he'd like to know how to play both sides of the market. By the way, the, I'll include this comment over here in the description if anyone wants to take a look because a bunch of people have responded. Greg saying that, you know what, try it for a month. It's a cheap date. You're gonna learn a lot, meet some interesting people, after a month, you can decide it's for you. You could always upgrade to the yearly course after there. I'm on my third month of the yearly program and trading Forex profitably. Greg, in the, in the live training session on Tuesday, was up, he's up 4% now on his third month of consistently profitable, ready now to go ahead and increase his risk and get towards that 2 to 3% goal a month. That's Does anyone understand the significance of that? That someone could jump into a course working with me that cost next to nothing, and then all of a sudden be, be turn into a profitable trader. Do you not, if, you're, if you're trading the markets and don't have an appreciation for how difficult the markets are, you're gonna find out. They are extraordinary. Trading is one of the most difficult things you could do. Trading is one of the most difficult things you could do. And he says he agrees with, with Greg. He joined three months ago, right? After watching the YouTube live streams and daily updates, his course and methods are extremely clear, extremely clear and will make you a profitable trader. The chat community is a great community with supportive members and a great place to post your trading ideas to get feedback from the rest of the group. Five months ago, I didn't have a clue what technical analysis was. I didn't even know what Forex was because a, right, a lot of us Americans are only focused in on the public markets. I'm now a po profitable paper trader and we'll be switching to a live account soon to put my newfound knowledge into action. I would add though, I was trying to trade the indices when I first started, got eaten alive. If you do join, again, do a month, do the month first to see if it's for you. I highly recommend focusing on the forest market, as I do. The forex markets and charts are much more clean. They follow technical analysis much better than the indices. I hope to see you in the group soon. You won't regret it. Giles, by the way, and I just have to finish because this is, you, you can't understand. 
I've been a member since May. Before signing up, I was weeks away from blowing my first account. Since committing to the strategy, I haven't had a single down month. Do you guys not understand? If you want to do this successfully, this course is 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 a no brainer. It's it's it, look at this. Definitely worth it. If you follow the direction and make the time to do what was required, right? Lots of sharing of ideas and support. Ken, I joined the course early this year. I cannot recommend it highly enough. There's no better system out there that can take any level of trader step by step through the stages of profitability. Couple that with the community of people within the course from all levels experience, the private lessons we all received from Jordan, and he makes this tiny investment for the course the best money you can spend on yourself. Ken was all about that feedback. Everybody, we'll see you all tomorrow morning.